Hi and welcome to my Prosper English YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prosperenglish.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. Today we'll be talking about the status of ing words, other nouns, verbs, or adjectives. In English, it's not always easy to classify a word as a noun, verb, or adjective. Many words belong to more than one category, like for example the word firm, which may be a noun, a consulting firm, here a firm means a company, or a verb, the market is firming, to firm means to improve. Firm is also an adjective, a firm cheese, here firm means hard. Solid. There is a group of words that are sometimes particularly difficult to classify as belonging to one of the aforementioned categories. These are words ending in ing. For example, the word working. Is it a noun, verb, or adjective? Have a look. She was working in the garden. They belong to the working class. She finds pleasure in working. So how do we know which category a word like this belongs to? There are some tests that can help us out. So an ing word may be considered a noun if 1. It's a lexicalized word that denotes a physical entity. I bought two paintings and hid them in the building. Two. It's preceded by determiners or adjectives. My dancing is pretty good, but what about her weird hopping on the stage that she calls the best dancing in this part of the globe? 3. It's followed by a phrase that starts with off. The banning of this material will have serious consequences. 4. It's followed by a relative clause. The buzzing, which was driving me mad, finally stopped. 5. It can be used in plural. I attended some of the meetings, but not all of them. 6. It's used as a modifier and can be paraphrased by the nominal use of the ing form, often preceded by for or of. Living standards were better than ever. This can be paraphrased as standards of living were better than ever. I bought a traveling alarm clock. This can be paraphrased as I bought an alarm clock for traveling. An ing word may be considered a verb if 1. It's followed by an object. Writing a book is a tedious task. 2. It's qualified by an adverbial. Sleeping during the day is not good for your health. 3. It's used after the verb be, and there is a non-progressive form of the verb that can be used without an object. The girl was missing. We can use the non-progressive form of the verb here. The girl missed. We use it without an object, and it works. It's correct. An ing word may be considered an adjective if 1. It follows the verb be and is not part of a progressive tense form. What you just said was confusing. 2. It's preceded by a degree adverb modifier. It was quite surprising but very interesting. 3. It's used as a modifier and can be paraphrased by a relative clause. Living creatures should be protected. This can be paraphrased like this. Creatures that live should be protected. 4. It's used after the verb be, and there isn't a non-progressive form of the verb that can be used without an object. The project was promising. We can say the project promised. So using a form which is non-progressive and without an object. This is not correct. 5. It follows a copular verb other than be. 
The book seems interesting, but the movie looks fascinating. 6. It begins with the negative prefix un. I've always admired her unyielding belief in her husband. 7. It can be turned into an adverb by means of the ending lay. It was surprising how well she did. We can also say, she did it surprisingly well. Now, some ambiguous cases. The tasks that I just described often help, but there are some ambiguous situations. Have a look at these examples. Noun or verb. Here we have the sentence. There is no denying it. Here, the word denying is followed by an object, it, which would suggest it's a verb. On the other hand, it's preceded by the determiner no, which would suggest it's a noun. Another example. The machine needs checking. Is the word checking a noun or a verb? Looks like a noun if we precede it with an adjective. The machine needs careful checking. But this is also fine. The machine needs checking carefully. This time we have an adverb. Adverbs modify verbs. So maybe it's a verb after all. Another example. This time noun or adjective. Here's an example with an ing word which is used as a modifier. The warning shots were heard in a distance. Is warning a noun or an adjective? On one hand, we know that if an ing modifier can be paraphrased by the nominal use of the ing form, it's a noun. So let's try to paraphrase the word warning then. We can say, the shots intended as a warning were heard in a distance. So, we can do it. So, it should be a noun. On the other hand, though, we know that if an ing modifier can be paraphrased by a relative class, it's an adjective. Let's try this out now. The shots which weren't were heard in a distance. This would suggest it's an adjective. So, this is just another ambiguous example. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.